Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Navita P. If you have not subscribed already, please do so right now and give me a like. Click the like button right now. Okay, so the topic of today's video is, um, it's actually a blog post that I recently posted on my blog, v2pblog.com. Okay, so it's called New Method for Paying Off Debt. So this is probably something you've already heard of. Um, maybe you've thought about this yourself, but I thought I would put this in an article and I would read this to you guys. Um, just in case you're not on my blog, I can read this to you. So I call it the check, the chank. Let's call this method the chunk method. So you can kind of visualize what that means, right? A chunk, a block, a certain amount. Um, so this new method, what I call is a new method. Some people might already know this. If you already know this, it's okay, but I want us to go over it anyway. So this is the blog article. Oh, uh, so when it comes to paying off debt, there are tons of methods you can find online. You can find it on YouTube, you can find it on Pinterest. There's so many places, so many information, so many social media platforms, books and audio books. You can find all this information. Um, but I like to break things down online. I like to put my own twist on things. So I'm not going to read the full article, but I'll tell you in this specific strategy, I show you how to pay off your debt within a given time based on the chunk method. So the chunk method, it may be known to some of you as something different. Um, maybe you call it something else, but I'll call it the chunk method. And in this method, you are going to be able to pay off your debt using chunks of money at any given time. In this article, I show you a calendar, kind of a chart showing you from January to December. Usually with credit cards, the minimum amount that you pay is $25, right? As a minimum a payment. I actually chose to put $100 in each of these boxes, right? So if you look in January, it says $100, February, $100, all the way to November. There's two spots that are empty. The two spots that are empty is April and December. So those two spots are where we're going to fill in the big chunk amount okay now we're going to talk about the chunks um typically for most americans that are working at a company usually at the year the end of the year they get a bonus a year-end bonus so usually that falls in december so if it falls in december usually that amount would be a greater amount let's say it'll be greater than the hundred dollars that i have in the previous month so let's just scroll down here so basically in april you're probably wondering what what goes in april you probably already know or some of you may not know usually get a tax refund for those of you who don't i'm sorry this might not apply to you but there might be some other chunks in your life that you might receive throughout the year. But in this instance, for most Americans, if they get a refund, the average refund is around $3,000. So I put that amount in the April box or calendar month or whatever you like to call it. Um, so I put $3,000 in April and $1,000 in December. Now it might not be the same for everyone, but just stick with me here. So let's say the typical balance um, on a credit card is $5,000. Now what we're gonna do here, and I'm just gonna scroll down, we're gonna put this all in a calendar from January January to December okay we're gonna add up everything so in April we're gonna get the three thousand dollar tax refund and we're gonna get a thousand dollar year-end bonus now if we add the three thousand plus the one thousand we're gonna get four thousand dollars so if that's four thousand dollars let's just assume there's a zero percent offer on this card and we're not paying any interest you can incorporate the interest if you would like but just to keep things simple let's say it's zero percent for right now and we know that this year we're gonna get $4,000 and we don't wanna put a lot on our card. So we take the $4,000 and we minus it from the 5,000 that we owe. You with me so far? So now our balance is, drum roll, $1,000. So if your balance is $1,000, what does that mean? That means you can divide the $1,000 between the remaining months. So 12 months minus the two months that you have your chunks equals 10 months. So 10 months times $100, $3,000 refund, $1,000 year end bonus, plus the $1,000, which is $100 times 10 months is $1,000. 3,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 equals 5,000. So in 12 months, you can pay off your $5,000 credit card debt with this method. So do you understand what I mean by chunk method? So are there any chunks that you have in your life? It could be so many kind of chunks. I mean, we all have it. We all receive it throughout the year. We don't, it might be different. Mine's might be different from yours and yours might be different from mine. But if you apply the same principle, you can reduce your debt in no time. I hope that makes sense. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I will probably make a new video about it. So please subscribe right now and I'll see you in the next one.